Hey guys, how do I sell hero? Welcome back to the channel. Now, iOS 16.4 has been a great software update overall. There's many new features and changes. However, in today's video, I wanted to share my personal top five favorite new features on the latest iOS 16.4. So let's just dive right into this video. Now, as always, if you would like to stay up to date with the latest iOS news and Apple software updates, of course, don't forget to subscribe and make sure you turn on those notifications so that you don't miss another episode. Now I want to go ahead and start with HomeKit. And now HomeKit has received one of its biggest updates with the iOS 16.4. The new update is now available. If you go into the Home application on your iPhone, you want to click on the top right here, and then you want to go into Home Settings. Once you go into there, you want to scroll down and you want to find the software updates categories. And the latest HomeKit update will be available here. And I'll tell you guys, this has been the most reliable experience I've had with HomeKit in many years since Apple launched the platform now if you have home pods maybe security cameras or any smart accessories around the home you use siri a lot this is going to be quicker faster more reliable and persistent so i'm really happy with the latest home kit update if you were having issues with your home kit accessories and home kit overall keep in mind you do have to update to ios 16.4 to take advantage of this latest update but again go into the home settings software update and you should see the populate update right there for the latest home kit update it should look something like this just click continue and update the architecture which i'm sure you guys will find a lot more reliable and persistent and you're going to love the new updates to the software now this next new feature depends on your carrier supporting this but this is going to be 5g standalone now 5g standalone is a new option under cell options now again if your carrier supports it you want to go into the cell data options here under voice and data and you'll find a new option for 5g standalone what this will do is allow you to use iPhone with 5G only and this allows your iPhone to have better call quality and performance in terms of download speeds but again this is only going to be for those of you who do have this option available for your carrier and also if you have 5G in your area of course most of us do have 5G at this point especially here in the US so this is going to allow you for better call quality performance and of course better download speeds I'm happy to see that Apple has added this standalone for 5G option to iOS 16.4 let me know if your carrier supports I know here in the US, T-Mobile is one of the ones that does support the standalone 5G. So my next favorite feature is the always on display filters for do not disturb or focus mode options. So this was so annoying with previous iOS updates. So for example, if I went into settings here and I went into focus mode here and I enabled any of my focus or any of the do not disturb options here, when I enabled it, there was no options for always on display. When I locked my device after enabling do not disturb, I couldn't take advantage of the always on display. So let me show you here. Do not disturb it would look like this obviously but now with iOS 16.4 you have the ability to go into the filter options here and then you have the always on display something so simple but yet very very useful you can add a filter for your focus mode or do not disturb options and now when you go into the lock screen you can actually take advantage of your always on display on iPhone 14 Pro or 14 Pro Max which is something that I really wanted because I know Apple uh, sometimes just sort of forgets or it's late to adding things like this but but here it is, a new always on display is now available for do not disturb and any focus mode options that you set up on your iPhone. I love this new option and feature. Another awesome change with iOS 16.4 that I really like, and this is for those of you who like to test beta software, if we go into general and we go into software update, and then we go into beta updates right here, we find a new option that allows us to install beta software, rather is developer or public beta, without the need of downloading a profile, you can sign up with your Apple ID directly from your iPhone. And then if you're registered with Apple's developer account, you'll get the developer option or public beta, then you get the public beta options. You no longer need a profile. This is something that I've been wanting for years. Instead of having to install those profiles on iPhone, I'm happy to report that this is now available on 16.4 and beyond and is one of my favorite features on the iPhone for beta testers. You guys know I do a lot of beta testing here. Now, before we continue, I wanted to share a quick word from our sponsor. Now, today's sponsor Sponsor is longtime partner of the channel Ugreen in their brand new product 9-in-1 USB-C docking station with 4K support. On the front here we have the power button. We also have two second generation USB-A. A, a USB-C is also on board here. As we flip it around here you see that we have the Ethernet connection of course is available here. We also have two HDMI and two display ports again for dual monitor setup as you can see right there with 4K support. We have the host to connect to your laptop in a 1000 power delivery USB-C 
which is also on board. Also, both USB-C ports support media display to dual monitor up to 4K 60Hz for both Windows and Mac, and all monitors can freely choose to display the same or different type of content. So check out Ugreen's 9-in-1 USB-C docking station. Of course, links will be in the description down below. Now, this next feature is simply awesome. Now, with iOS 16 and FaceTime audio and FaceTime calls, Apple added what's called voice isolation for when you're in a FaceTime call. But now, voice isolation is coming to any phone call. So if you call someone on your iPhone, you can go into Control Center, press on the microphone options here, and you now have the voice isolation enabled for any calls on your iPhone, as you can see right here. This is awesome because what this will do is will filter out any uh, noise in the background and it will focus on your voice. So voice isolation, easily one of my favorite features coming to standard phone calls in iOS 16.4. Of course, Apple added this for FaceTime, as I mentioned, FaceTime audio and FaceTime video, but now having it directly built into the phone calls in your iPhone is just a next level experience. Now, go ahead and test this one out. It's available for everyone. Again, voice isolation for calls. You want to enable that in Control Center after initiating a call. It's a really awesome new feature. Now, I did say it was five favorite new features, but I do want to share one more. And that one more thing is the battery. For those of you who may be concerned of updating to iOS 16.4, maybe because of bugs, performance, any issues, or battery drainage, I do want to talk about the battery specifically because I do want to share my experience so far with the software. This has been so far the best battery experience that I've had on iPhone ever since iOS 16 launched. So if your concern is battery, then I do want to report that the battery has been amazing on iOS 16.4. And there you guys have it. This about brings an end to this video. These are my five or six favorite new features in iOS 16.4. Thank you for watching, guys. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.